Is there a cool way to like you guys like throw these? You know, like no. Just. But there's no like. No. Okay. This is a Macintosh blade, and I'm going to use it to intubate this patient. Have you done this before? I'm an orthopedic surgeon. If I can nail a femur, I can definitely intubate a lardial airway management trainer. All right. <laughs> so I haven't done this since residency, so we'll see. Um, okay, step one. I know, because you already told me that I have to put the head into a better position, so I need one of those pillow things. It's easy, I'll just love it. So pillow behind here, so that we can later get this patient into appropriate sniffing position. I know that I'll probably need an art line before we can do any of this, because that's all you guys do is art lines. You put their head into a sniffing position, which means that you hyperextend so you can get a better look at it. And then you take this, and I think you go left to right, but I think that's stage left. And you sweep the tongue and get in here. And I always remember, oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you click it on till the light comes on first. And then you go like this, so I can see much better now. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Oh yes, I see what you're saying. So now you can only look through one side, so make sure you use your left hand. <laughs> and then I need some burp. What's burp? Backwards, upwards, rightwards pressure. Oh. And you take this thing. So this is a seven millimeter endotracheal tube. And what I'm trying to do is pull back and look at the, I see it, nobody move. Burp me. Okay, less burp now. <laughs> oh, I know. And then you pull this a little bit, please. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. I feel like I'm in. Good. Then you pull all the way out. And you blow it up. How do you know how much to put in? Until you meet resistance like a cortical bone. <laughs> so there is pretty good. I feel like it's pretty good. Uh, you can test it with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect. In the green. Excellent. So now we connect the breathing apparatus. Yes, this thing. You plug it to the tube. This is where that SIBO comes from. How come it's not on? You gotta turn the machine on. Lucky for your trusty anesthesiologist is here. <laughs> and so now for the moment of truth. Oh, I got one of them. I got one of them. Yeah, that's amazing. Right, mate, <laughs> It. Okay. it means I'm too deep. So you pull back a little bit and then to try again. Oh! <laughs> if you can nail a femur, you can intubate a patient. It's not true. <laughs> I have newfound respect for what you guys do. <laughs> that literally is like 0.2% of what we do, but. <laughs> Art lines. You guys do lots of art lines. Yes. So now you've seen one, so let's see the expert teach one. This is Dr. Lee from anesthesiology. She's going to show you how to actually do this properly. I'm Dr. Lisa Lee. I'm an anesthesiologist, an actual anesthesiologist. And now that you've seen an orthopedic surgeon try to intubate someone, I'm gonna show you the real steps that are required for a successful intubation. As previously alluded to, check all your equipment and make sure your patient's in the right position. The right position, what is that? So for intubation, you want the patients in the sniffing position, which doesn't mean that you want to hyperextend their head back. It means that they're appropriately on the right pillow or tilted such that the axis to their airway is in the most uh, direct position. We do have a nice pillow behind this mannequin's head, so I think he's in a very good position for intubation. Next, your equipment. Make sure you have your intubating instrument. Today, my choice is gonna be a McGrath video laryngoscope with a Mac 3 blade. You wanna make sure you have your endotracheal tube styletted with a cuff syringe and a cuff pressure gauge. And of course, you wanna make sure you have a ventilator after the patient is intubated that's working and turned on. So let's just turn that on. Okay, we're all ready. And obviously you're gonna to wanna to check that you can bag the patient in case the intubation is difficult. But let's just presume this patient is an easy bag mass ventilation. So next, we're gonna turn our intubation equipment on. 
Lights on, it's working. With the instrument in your left hand, even if you're right-handed, you're gonna gently support the patient's head and ever so slightly pull the patient's head back a little bit towards you so that you can open their mouth with your other hand. I would be wearing um, gloves for this in a real patient. And then you're gonna gently introduce the blade following the curvature of their tongue until the tip of the blade is pulling the epiglottis back such that you can see the vocal cords. And there you go. You can see the vocal cords right there. So once you see the vocal cords, you're gonna put the endotracheal tube to the side of the mouth so that you can gently put the tip between the cords and then you're gonna ask your assistant to pull the stylet back a little bit as you advance the tube and all the way. And you're gonna advance the tube until the cuff slides just past the vocal cords. You don't wanna to go too far, cause then what can happen? Right main stem intubation. You got it! Okay, so now that we've seen the tube go between the cords, we're gonna remove our instrument. You're gonna have someone hold the tube as you put the cuff up so that you don't extubate the patient. Then you're gonna check your pressure. So there we have in the green. Then we're gonna hook the patient up to the ventilator. And, ta-da! Success! And not right main stem! I got right. one of them! And there you have it, another successful intubation. So Adrian, that, now that you've learned from the best, do you want to give it another go? Absolutely, I do. I think I learned, I think I can improve. Let's see it. Okay, so first of all, you want to check all of your equipment. So I have my video laryngoscope, and so that's on, so it's perfect. So that goes in my left hand, which will be over here then. I have my ET tube with a stylet in, which is awesome. I know I normally would keep it in there, but I'm just going to put it out because we only have one helper. And we have the pump thing. And most importantly, we know that the machine is on, and the SIBO is flowing freely. <laughs> when we place a patient, sniffing position is not hyperextension. It is just that the airway is nicely uh, smooth and get best, best access to it. In my left hand, the laryngoscope. So as I'm introducing it gently, no broken teeth, I'm visualizing the cords, which is beautiful right there. So I think that's the cords. Oh gosh. Is that not right? Hold back a little bit, you're too deep. Hey there. Your, your scope was like in the cord. Yeah. I mean, if it's in the cords, then I know I'm going to get it. And so you take the ET tube and you just follow it in and visualize it. You ask your assistant, can you pull the stylet out as I'm putting pressure? Good, yeah. Excellent, thank you. And so once the... Uh-oh, it's not going anymore. You can rotate it a little bit counterclockwise, counterclockwise, gently as you push. So this is good. So if you run into that problem, then you can now you know what to do. No, now you, I actually need some burp. Now you need some burp and gently counterclockwise turn as you push. Turn as you push, turn as you push, turn as you push, turn as you push. Nice. Amazing. And why does that work? Because there's a bevel on the tube. And so as you gently turn as you push, it just helps you get over the, whatever is catching there. Awesome tips. Okay, so now we can see that the cuff is past the cords, mm -hmm. so that's good. And so now we hold the, get somebody to hold it, and we grab the vent. Okay, and so now the bag. Come on, still so deep, right? <laughs> this is just what happens when an orthopedic surgeon intubates a patient. Oh my goodness. How come this isn't inflating? Did you put the cuff up? Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Ish. Yeah. Yep, good. There's another anesthesiologist. Really Teaching an orthopedic surgeon how to intubate. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go? Good. Let's see it. It's perfect. Good teacher. 
and another successful intubation brought to you by your local orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lee. You're welcome. Good job. Now let's start the case. No, art line first.